TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy May Edition with your host, Pablo Gunner, the ambassador. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about Bad Batch Finale. Let's do it. So let's go ahead and start with first Bad Batch finale on Disney+. Plus. So, if you're new here, for our grade scale, for most of our stuff, because most stuff is streaming, it's going to be a must-see, must-stream. Then it's just going to be check it out as the mid-grade, and then the low-grade is going to be pass. Now, if you can't stream it, then it's going to be probably a buy, and then rent, if there's a rent or some form of that, since there's, we don't really, you know, you could try it, I guess, you know, like, which is pretty much Game Pass type services, right? Or Gamefly. Yeah, 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 you could do that. Let's go into Bad Batch Finale. Did you watch it? No. It hurts me. It hurts me that people are not watching, not watching Bad Batch. I don't know if it's a, I, I don't know what it is. What, what is the reason you're not watching it? I've never really watched everything Star Wars. I've watched a handful of things. Like you don't like Clone Wars? Like were you not that I, into Clone Wars? I didn't really Wars? like Clone Wars. But you did like Rebels, right? Yeah, Rebels was good. Clone Wars, just there's too much shit to get through to get to the good. That first season's pretty rough. Second one... Yeah. So now that's now that we've covered that, I, I think a big part of it is people don't like animation. It is a Clone Wars continuation, essentially. Filoni's doing his best to try to continue Clone Wars as long as possible, essentially. I love it. The finale was awesome. Like, the last few episodes were, were superb. I they just Those ones, they just flowed, and it was, it was really great. I will say they kind of built up the idea that this secret person that was hunting them this this clone like clone x or whatever they were calling him they built up that it was tech he was doing things that were like tech he was saying things that tech would say but then they never revealed his identity like there was even a perfect part where when he died he slumped over and his helmet easily could have fallen off and they could have revealed that he was or was not tech which would have been a great moment to find out if he was or was not they also had a line in there about, oh yeah, why don't we call Rex for backup? And they could have done that so that there would have been this clone rebellion happening there that they also built up and they never did it. And I'm like, are they going to do it at some point? Because this wasn't it. So those were like the two most disappointing things, as well as the fact that like when Omega, like they did this time jump and Omega's like older, she's like an adult now, or she's at least teenaged like I said 18 probably so an adult she goes off on her own it would have been nice for all of the bad batch to see her off you know because she goes to join the rebellion that was those were like the most disappointing things but besides that like it was awesome it was epic it was crazy everything was superb like it just flowed and it was just so great and like I said it's hard to say like oh it's perfect it wasn't perfect but it's near perfect like it's as much as they could with the time that they had. It's definitely a binge. It's more of a binge than it is. I'm a hardcore. You can't say I'm not a hardcore. If you consider yourself a hardcore, you have to watch it. You have to watch Bad Batch. It's phenomenal. And it's definitely, for me, and if you're hardcore, it's a must-see. I guess not everyone, but it's still definitely, I would say, it's still worth checking out. Thank you for watching and checking us out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Uh, check out our merch. I'm wearing the Doctor Who uh, lettering with the Doctor Who TARDIS. We have other Doctor Who stuff. Um, this is actually was a prototype, so I've actually dragged it down so it's it's not so high up. So now the lettering is like more like right here, and then the the TARDIS is going to be right here. But um, and then I'm wearing rocking my Asul Beetle all print. Um, not leggings, what do they call them? Joggers. Uh, which I, the all print is always the w way to go. I, they're probably not on the site though because we only have 100 items. But if you want it, we can hook you up. We can get them for you. And you're sporting uh, the periodically nerdy shirt. Which is just, it's nerdy. Periodically, yeah. obviously. It's hilarious and brilliant. Which is so fitting for the ambassador. <laughs> so, yeah, you know what? Let's do some shout outs too. I got some shout outs for the peeps for that. Always at the top of the list, we have Atticus. Atticus, uh, and then we have uh, which is he's a YouTuber, and he's just raw and 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 
real and he's a teacher out in Vietnam and but he also just does slice of life stuff that's that's really interesting really great you know what it's like to have relationships with friends you know people of the um r romantic relationships even pre people of the opposite gender of your own or whatever and uh and and it's so cool I love just seeing it because it like the land is just beautiful. Like, it's it's so cool to see. Uh, MK Jekyll and Hyde is another one that is great. Uh, they do comics, like online comics, and they're great. And every it seems like every post they make is so inspirational, so I love their stuff. Uh, film Rage, those guys are hilarious. They cover all films. Doesn't matter. They will cover all of them because they, like us, will waste their time so you don't have to. And uh, Mary May Media, which kind of sounds like what it is, which is anime, media, um, and a little Americana, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. And then uh, Superpower List. Those guys are awesome. Hardcore comic book nerds. Talking nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth.